Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In the last lecture, we learned about Cartesian products and CRISP relations. Continuing from there, in this video, we will learn about operations and compositions on CRISP relations. We will also see some solved examples to understand the topic better. So, let's start our lecture. First, let us learn about operations on CRISP relations. Consider two relations R and S defined on the Cartesian universe X cross Y. Then, for the union operation between R and S, the membership value of each ordered pair X, Y in R union S is given by maximum of chi R of X, Y and chi S of X, Y. Note that here, chi represents the CRISP membership value. As an example, consider the relations R and S defined in the universe X cross Y. Then, R union S is given by maximum of 1 and 1, which is 1, maximum of 0 and 1, which is 1, maximum of 0 and 0, which is 0, and maximum of 1 and 0, which is 0. So, this matrix is R union S. Now, let's see the intersection operation. The membership value of each ordered pair in R intersection S is given by minimum of chi R of X, Y and chi S of X, Y. Considering the same relations R and S as before, R intersection S is given by minimum of 1 and 1 which is 1, minimum of 0 and 1 which is 0, minimum of 0 and 0 which is 0 and minimum of 1 and 0 which is 0. So this is the matrix for R intersection S. Next we have the complement operation. Here, the membership value chi r complement of x, y is given by 1 minus chi r of x, y. If we take our earlier relation r, r complement is given by 1 minus r which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is 0, 1 minus 0 which is 1, 1 minus 0 which is 1, and 1 minus 1 which is 0. Now let us see what is containment or inclusion. A relation R is contained or included in relation S if chi R of x, y is less than or equal to chi S of x, y. To understand this better, let us take an example. Consider two relations M and N as defined here. Here, chi m of x1, y1 is equal to 0 and this is less than chi n of x1, y1 which is equal to 1. If we check for chi m of x1, y2, this is equal to 0 and this is simply equal to chi n of x1, y2 which is again 0. Okay. Next, chi m of x2, y1 is equal to chi n of x2, y1 and chi m of x2, y2 is equal to chi n of x2, y2. So, if you see all the membership values in relation M are either less than or equal to corresponding membership values in relation N. Hence, we can say that relation M is contained in relation N. Okay. Now, before jumping to composition, let us discuss which properties are satisfied by CRISP relations. Just like for classical set operations, Properties of commutativity, associativity, distributivity, and idempotency are satisfied for CRISP relations. In addition to this, 
De Morgan's loss and loss of excluded middle also holds true for crisp relations. Next, we will learn about composition. Consider a relation R that maps elements from universe X to universe Y and consider another relation S that maps elements from universe Y to universe Z. Then, R composition S denoted by this circle relates the elements from universe X to universe Z. So, that is composition in simple terms. We are simply trying to find the relation between elements of universe X and universe Z when the relation between universe X and Y and Y and Z are already given. Now, there are two common forms of composition. One is max-min composition and the other is max-product composition. The max-min composition is defined by the membership function chi r composition s of ordered pair x, z is given by maximum of minimum of chi r of ordered pair x, y and chi s of ordered pair y, z for all y belonging to universe y. This expression can be shorthanded as chi r composition s of ordered pair x, z is equal to maximum of chi r of x, y and chi s of y, z. Please note that here this is the AND operator and the AND operator gives the minimum of the membership values of chi r and chi s. Next, we have the max product composition which is defined as chi r composition s of ordered pair x, z is equal to maximum of chi r of x, y multiplied by chi s of y, z for all y belonging to universe y. This expression can be shorthanded as maximum of chi r multiplied by chi s. Note that this is the OR operator which gives the maximum among different elements as we have studied earlier. Now let us take an example to understand this concept better. We are given the universes X, Y and Z and the relation R from universe X to Y and the relation S from universe Y to Z. And we are asked to find out R composition S. Ok, so first we need to find the relation R. For that, we need x cross y. x cross y is given by set of ordered pairs 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2 and 2, 3. Now, to find out relation R, out of these ordered pairs, we need to find the ones which satisfy the condition y equal to x plus 1. If you look among these ordered pairs, only the ordered pairs 1, 2 and 2, 3 satisfies the condition y equal to x plus 1. Therefore, relation R is equal to set of ordered pairs 1, 2 and 2, 3. Let us represent this relation in matrix form also. So, R is equal to 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 0, 0, 1. Now let us find out the relation S. As before, we will first find out Y cross Z which is equal to set of ordered pairs 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 3 and 3, 4. Now, among these, let us find out the ordered pairs which satisfy the condition y less than z. If you check, the ordered pairs 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4 satisfies this condition. Therefore, relation S equal to set of ordered pairs 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4. Writing this in matrix form, S equal to 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 3, and 1, 1, and 0, 1. Now let us proceed to find R composition S. First we will find out max min composition. So R composition S is equal to 
let us first write down the elements of universe x here and the elements of universe z here now pay close attention to find out the membership value of ordered pair 1 3 in r composition s we will consider the first row of r and the first column of s so chi r composition s of 1 3 is equal to maximum of minimum of 1 1 so minimum of 1 1 and minimum of 0 and 0 so minimum of 0 and 0 which is equal to maximum of minimum of 1 and 1 is 1 and minimum of 0 and 0 is 0 which gives us maximum of 1 and 0 which will be 1 so the membership value of ordered pair 1 3 is 1 now to find out the membership of ordered pair 1 and 4 we will consider the first row of r and the second column of s therefore we have chi r composition s of 1 comma 4 equal to maximum of minimum of 1 and 1 1 and 1 and minimum of 0 and 1 0 and 1 which is equal to maximum of minimum of 1 and 1 is 1 and minimum of 0 and 1 is 0 therefore we have maximum of 1 and 0 which is equal to 1 so the membership value of ordered pair 1 and 4 is 1 next for the ordered pair 2 3 we will consider the second row of r and the first column of s so we have chi r composition s of 2 3 equal to maximum of minimum of 0 and 1 0 and 1 and minimum of 1 and 0 1 and 0 which is equal to maximum of minimum of 0 and 1 is 0 and minimum of 1 and 0 is again 0 therefore maximum of 0 and 0 is 0 so the membership value of ordered pair 2 3 in r composition s is 0 now lastly for the ordered pair 2 4 we have the second row of r and the second column of s the membership value in this case is 1 so this is the maximum composition of r and s now we need to find for max product composition same as before for the ordered pair 1 3 we will consider the first row of r and the first column of s so we have chi r composition s of ordered pair 1 3 equal to maximum of 1 multiplied by 1 1 multiplied by 1 and 0 multiplied by 0 0 multiplied by 0 which is equal to maximum of 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 and 0 multiplied by 0 is 0 so maximum of 1 and 0 which is 1 therefore here we have 1 similarly for ordered pair 1 4 we get 1 for ordered pair 2 3 we get 0 and for 2 4 we have again 1 so the max product composition of r and s is this now if you see the metrics we got for max product composition and max min composition are the same you can note this down as a result that is in the case of crisp relations max min composition and max product composition produce identical results the reason for this is pretty simple the product operation of two binary numbers has the same effect as taking the minimum of them so both these parts of max min and max product composition gives identical results in the case of crisp relations hence we got identical results for the compositions in case of crisp relations 
Now let's end the lecture with a homework question. For the given universes x, y and z, consider the relations r and s. Find out r composition s using max product form. Once you find the answer, comment them in the comment box to encourage others also to solve it. To summarize what all we learned in this lecture, we learned about operations on crisp relations, the properties they abide, and the max min and max product composition with examples. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. In the next video, we will learn about relations and operations on fuzzy sets. Now, if you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching properly and have a great day.